Hey everybody, it is finally Ipsy Day. Um, my Ipsy took a really long time to get here this month. It's the 25th and it's usually here on like the 13th. So that was kind of annoying, but these things can't always be helped. So here it is, my very first unboxing. Um, comes with a little card that says, Your summer story starts here with a fun pineapple. And then they wrapped it in tissue paper this month because the bag is clear. And it's got all these cute little ice creams on it. But the bag's kind of, well, janky. Like the zipper doesn't close all the way. Will not close more than that. And it just seems crooked and just kind of shabbily put together and smushed. And I'm just not a big fan. But can't win them all, so... Um, the first item in my bag is this Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I have heard really good things about this brand. I think I've even heard of this product. Um, Jacqueline Hill might have talked about it. but So it sounds really good, but I think I've had enough hair stuff um, the past four months, I think. I've gotten something for my hair, and I just really don't care about my hair that much. Um, the next item is this fancy brush. Well, it's not really fancy, but it is from Royal and Langnickel, the Precision Angled Brush. It's a fat eyeshadow brush. It's kind of cool. I really enjoy the Royal and Langnickel Moda brushes, so I'm sure this will be just as awesome. Um, let's see. The next item is this delightful lipstick from Mellow in the shade Nude. It's very pretty nudie pink color. Nice. Very nice. And then we have this I was really excited about because I've never owned anything from Urban Decay. Um, it is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powdered Highlighter in the color Sin. And it's that light color on the back of my hand. It's very pretty. And the last item is an eyeshadow duo. I get most excited about eyeshadow every month. It's my favorite thing. But it is the Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. It is cruelty free. It's got a nice shelf life. It doesn't have a shade name on it, but it's these very pretty two colors. Sh nice shimmery gold and a kind of pinky gold. And swatched, it's these two colors on the back of my hand. So yeah, all in all, I think it's a pretty good bag. I would have liked to have it two weeks ago, but other than that, I can't really complain. Um, hope you all have a good week. Stay blessed. Bye.